bishop's special attacks cost no power when activated. Instead, after the special ends, bishop immediately loses however many bars of power that special would have cost. As well, bishop is able to enter a fight with 100% of the power he finished his previous fight with. So, if you finish an opponent with a special attack, whatever power you had before throwing that special attack will be your starting power in the next fight. Bishop has a large amount of energy resistance, and every one second on receiving an energy damage, gain three passive prowess. If Bishop is struck, or if he blocks a strike, he will generate one stack of prowess, and well-timed blocks will gain an additional six prowess. All of these abilities will gain an extra prowess when fighting skill champions, and a negative one prowess when fighting tech champions. All of Bishop's personal prowess effects increase his special attack damage by 10%. If Bishop holds block for 0.5 seconds, he will begin to convert one personal prowess into a regeneration buff every 0 seconds. This will grant health over 5 seconds and has a max stack of 5. Each prowess converted also has a 100% chance to purify a bleed debuff. Each time an opponent will purify one of Bishop's debuffs, they will instantly receive energy damage. But in addition, skill champions also receive a passive stun lasting 1.5 seconds if the debuff purified was a stun. This makes Bishop maybe the best choice when fighting champions like Agent Venom, Crossbones, or Aegon, as when they try to purify his stun from the parry, it will instantly turn in to a stun passive. While Bishop has more than 30 prowess, or if he's bleeding, shocked, or incinerated, he goes into overload and begins consuming his personal prowess effects one at a time, getting faster the longer he's been overloading. If Bishop is suffering from a bleed, shock, or incinerate, whether it is a debuff or a passive, each time he consumes a prowess, he deals energy damage to the opponent, scaling with his base attack. While this does give you extra damage on the opponent, this does make it very difficult to stack your passive prowess, thus making your specials hit for a lot less damage than they normally would. While in overload, all special attacks will become unblockable. After each special attack, Bishop will consume all of his personal prowess passives. After launching the special attack 1, Bishop will gain a steady release passive for 10 seconds. While steady release is active, every 1 second while near the opponent, you'll inflict an incinerate debuff on them for 3 seconds. Each prowess consumed by this attack increases the duration of steady release by 2.5%. The last hit of the special attack 2 has a 100% chance to inflict an incinerate debuff lasting 10 seconds and dealing 70% of the total damage dealt by this special. This means that the more passive prowess you have to increase the damage of the special, the more powerful the incinerate debuff will be after the special. Special Attack 3 has a 100% chance to inflict a non-stacking energy vulnerability debuff, reducing energy resistance for 20 seconds. If the Special Attack 3 is used against an opponent at full health, this energy vulnerability debuff becomes indefinite. An awakened bishop prepares a unique bonus based on how many bars of power are full at the start of the fight. At zero bars of power, special attacks become unblockable with a stack of either 10 to 29 prowess depending on signature level. With one bar of power, while blocking, gain stun immunity, and enemies lose 10 to 80% ability accuracy. With two bars of power, special attacks leave the target incinerated for 9.99 to 70% of the special damage dealt over 10 seconds. 
Finally, with three bars full, start the fight with steady release active for 3.02 to 15 seconds. Bishop does have several synergies that allow him to start the fight with full bars of power, either one, two, or three full bars. These synergies do not appear to gain the same bonuses from the signature ability. I'm not sure whether this is bugged or intentional. However, just realize that you will not gain the bonuses if you are using synergies to gain full bars of power, and you must instead do it the natural way of ending a fight with a certain amount of power and beginning the next fight with that same amount of power. This buff on Bishop is absolutely incredible. The character is just so much more versatile, can dish out so much more damage, and even has a little bit of utility along with him. And when using his synergies, it really makes him just, you can play him however you desire. Uh, there are a few tips and strategies that you should be using uh, when playing Bishop, but you do have a lot of ways to play him depending on your preferred playstyle. First of all, let's talk about his normal rotation. If you are starting a fight with no synergies and no bars of power, you're first going to want to use your special three uh, with as many passive prowess active as possible. So you're going to want to parry a lot and if, especially effective if you're fighting against opponents who use energy damage instead of physical damage. Using the special three will give you the energy vulnerability debuff. Again, that combined with his passive prowess will make it so that all of your special attacks will hit even harder. After using the special three, you're then going to want to race towards your special two. This is going to be your biggest damage dealer. And then you can just rinse and repeat either the special two or the special one after using that if the opponent isn't dead already. It is always a good idea to finish a fight using a special attack. Remember that Bishop does not expend energy while doing the attack, only after. So, if you finish an opponent while using the special attack, let's say using your special attack 2, you will then have the exact same amount of energy enough to use your special attack 2 when beginning the next fight. Next, let's talk about synergies with Bishop. You don't need his synergies in order to make Bishop a fantastic champion. However, using synergies allows you to play around with his playstyle a whole lot more. Using his synergies with certain mutant champions in the game, you can start a fight with either one, two, or three bars of power and plus two prowess per champion that you use. So the way I really like to do this is to start with three full bars of power. This will allow you to place an indefinite energy debuff on the opponent, making especially your special two, but all of your energy damage coming out of Bishop a lot more powerful against the opponent. So you start the fight using your special three then race on up to your special two, use your special two, and for a lot of fights uh, with a powerful enough bishop, that fight is going to be ended. Now there are some ways to even cheese the game as well if you start with your special two, which is your big damage dealer, and then gain your passes with your well time blocked, and then throw your special two very close to the beginning of the fight. You can almost end some fights immediately with just one attack, depending on the health of the opponent. Remember that if you aren't using synergies, you can get this same indefinite energy vulnerability debuff simply by ending a fight with a special three. And then you will start the next fight with a special three active. You will throw it before doing any damage to the opponent and you will gain that indefinite debuff. Finally, just a word of warning, you are gonna be less effective in fights against tech champions, but also you may not wanna take him into fights where he can be either shocked or incinerated as he is going to burn through his passive prowesses in order to place energy damage on the opponent. But as you burn through these prowesses, you're gonna have less of them, and so your special attacks are gonna be quite a bit weaker. You should absolutely keep Bishop out of fights against Warlock, as Warlock is both a tech champion and can place shock debuffs on the opponent without even striking them. Uh, trust me when I say I fought against Warlock and he just completely obliterated my Bishop.